time for an air intake. Let's make a layer to put the air intake curves on. So it's good to be structured. And when you're coming to a key shot, it's even more important. So let's go for a five degree curve. And that means that we don't have any issues with internal discontinuities. I just try to put position these control points as good as possible. Uh, but it could be useful to turn on the curvature graph and, and have a look. And actually, it looks pretty nice. So uh, I'm I'm happy with that. Let's let's go for that. We we push it a little bit outside, so we have the offset there uh, for enough space for an S-shaped profile. So um, I think we we could go for that. Uh, if we could use. Uh, the curves from the mathematics, I mean uh, the ISO curves, that would be good. And I just realized that we have two surfaces here and it's a little bit messy, so let's clean up a little bit. And now we only have one surface. And let's extract an ISO curve. That means that we're following the mathematics of the surface. So maybe there is a good spot. So by doing that, we help uh, the software to, to make the the mathematic uh, solutions later on. So now we have one trim curve and now we have also projected that. And look at that projected curve. It's a lot of control points which could cause issues. Uh, it, it probably needs to be quite heavy, the surface, to attach to that amount of control points. But uh, we, we continue on here and see if it will be okay anyway. Now I would like to make the inner tiny surface. So uh, I will split the edge there. So I could use that edge and just extract it out. Uh, so when we have split this edge here, we could just take the gimbal and just take the circle and drag it out. And then we have a straight surface there. Uh, we can't have that. We need more control points. So let's go for rebuild and I will I will go for a 5-5 five, five single span uh, as, as a starting point and we'll see if we need more flexibility or not. So have a look at the, the number of uh, point here, uh, points and if you have one more than the degree then, then you have just a single span. So let's match uh, the edge there now and when we do that we should see it following much better. But this is just tangency. And we, we need curvature uh, on that edge. So let's do it one more time and click on curvature. And there we go. Now you can see, oh, it's very smooth and it takes a lot of space from the surface there. It would be nice to move the control points, but I didn't turn on record history. So let's redo it with record history turned on. So match surface, curvature continuity. And now when we grab uh, the control points, it will update automatically uh, with uh, curvature continuity. So that makes it so much easier to uh, redesign this inner surface. So now when we clean away some easier to work. And now I select not all of them. So that was sad. I should of course selected them all. But you see, uh, the, even uh, though I move around now, uh, it updates and, and tries to make it uh, curvature continuous. So that's really nice. So even though two of them are not selected, it works. But let's select all of them. And now when we move them a little bit closer, we have a quicker turn of this inner surface, so it could wrap in much quicker. So uh, that was what I was aiming for. So I think uh, that looks decent. From a side view, we can see that we could also adjust the flow a little bit um, relative to the main surface. So let's move this up a little bit and look at the hull there and see if you have like a, a flow there. 
and here in the lower part we could maybe take these three and push them down a little bit shift click and move them down just to have some kind of shape there and um, the, the curvature there is, is all, all, always there in updating so if I move these here uh, it will instantly uh, position it back to curvature so you can't break it so that's nice with the history okay it looks pretty decent and now we have that inner surface in place uh, we could uh, continue and what we would like to do now is to make a curve so we make that from the bigger curve with a copy and moving it in and by doing that we have the same amount of mathematics and control points so this is a really good thing to do uh, for opposite sides when you're doing NARPS modeling so I shrink this and rescale it and move it a little bit and uh, yeah something like that maybe and they are pretty close together these in the corner here maybe we could separate them a little bit so we have a little bit more uh, space for for this S shape to move around these corners here the sharper the edge is it's tr the trickier it will be for the software we, we might need to come back to these curves and adjust them so let's trim the inner surface with this uh, smaller curve that we did and now if we just clean away a little bit of, of the unnecessary uh, objects uh, maybe we could try and make uh, a network surface so we click on these borders and it it can't give us uh, because that border C is going on all the way and, and confusing the software it doesn't know what to do so let's split this edge so we get two separate edges here for network surface to work with so now when we go for network surface look at that we have a short edge there and now we can choose those and the one down there look at that so now we got oh a really heavy one when we go for curvature it's almost black so yeah it works uh, if we're in a hurry we could probably go with this uh, with the zebra here it looks uh, not super nice it's kind of wobbly even though we have uh, quite uh, high accuracy on the mesh let's see if we could redo this uh, so let's make some guide curves and I will do this uh, with the same kind of approach as earlier so I just make a straight line uh, in lo locations where I believe we, we need to help uh, the network surface a little bit extend it and project down these extended lines so we have something to attach to so when they are projected we don't really need those curves anymore so we could just choose those and delete them and, but we have the, the short pieces there that we could attach so we attach one curve and the second curve and these need uh, three control points on each ed edge so you see now if you instantly go for match curve it grabs so many control points that we don't have anything left for the other side so we need to rebuild and add so in this case we, we need a five degree curve here uh, so we have enough control points and now we can match the curve on both sides and if you use record history you remember then we could redesign and move the control points and it will update automatically so that's it's nice uh, the the lower curve there is it's not that beautiful when we talk about the control points layout so we could have moved the control points and tried to make it more equally spaced but why not just make a new curve there quickly we, and then we have a balanced control point layout yeah, so I just let's redo this with match curve and curvature continuity and look at that so much nicer uh, talking about the spacing or the flow of control points and ah, look at that uh, it's it's less heavy 
it's of course quite heavy or still but it's it's not that crazy amount that we had earlier so let's evaluate this and it looks quite decent so i think we could go with this another possibility would be to try a blend surf between the long edges uh, but then we would need to to choose match surface on the short edge so an alternative method could be to try with blend surface but we stay with this network surface and i think we're fine i think it looks fine really <laughs>